இந்த இன்டர்வியூ தமிழில் பார்க்க மேலே வர லிங்கை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் Hello Leia it's been a while that I didn't see you today we are going to give a small interview for our youtube channel we just started a month ago and uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, accepting our invitation and doing our interview for us thank you very much and we would like to introduce yourself to our uh, viewers could you please tell me about yourself and what you do so i am french mm-hmm. uh, i live in paris and uh, i studied also in paris and um, in uh, rouen which is uh, in another city uh, near paris uh, i spent uh, one year in the uk to learn english mm-hmm. and i was in in a city called leeds it is it's in the north of the uk mm-hmm. and uh, after my my phd i came back to paris and i was uh, hired at the Pasteur, Pasteur Institute and I also work um, mid, uh, mid-time at the Vaccine Research Institute which is um, in Paris near, near the Institut Pasteur. Fantastic, oh that's lovely of you. Um, so we are also wondering like uh, what motivated you in this area of research? Actually, um, I'm really interested in viruses. I've always been, I, I did my PhD uh, uh, using another viruses and now I work on HIV. And uh, I think HIV uh, is very interesting because uh, we, we still have no proper, we have treatments, with, but we have a cure. And, um, and it is a global health issue, as, as you know, that more than 30 million people are infected uh, at this moment. And uh, there is a, a lot of, um, of uh, anti, antiviral therapy, but, um, but we don't have cure. So it's, it's very challenging to work uh, in this field. Wow. Um, you know, HIV um, is a very... Um, uh, interesting virus and he has a lot of uh, strategy to to hijack the, the immune system and one of, uh, of them is to integrate um, the genome of the host cells mm-hmm. and uh, creating what we call reservoir mm-hmm. and these reservoir or cells that bears the, the, the genes that can rebuild at a, at a moment some new viruses and uh, this reservoir can be held by the body for many years mm-hmm. and actually for for decades mm-hmm. sometimes and uh, so so another very very big motivation is to is to uh, have more insight of, on this reservoir how they behave and how to um, how they reactivate and so by at the end uh, how to remove how to how to destroy them if you have to explain the methodology of viral based vaccine preparation to a school kid how would you explain it okay um so variable based vaccine um, is an accurate method for vaccination Mm -hmm. viruses or invisible elements comprising a shell Mm -hmm. uh, that we call a capsid Mm -hmm. and it contains tools to multiply to divide these tools is the genetic material Mm -hmm. and sometimes also proteins Mm -hmm. proteins that can make that that are the material for the shell Mm -hmm. viruses can naturally target specific cells with a high efficiency they can target a lung cell like the flu virus they can target the brain like rabies Mm -hmm. or again they can target immune cells like ebola or hiv Mm -hmm. and based on that observation that virus are very good at targeting specific uh, organs Scientists had the idea to benefit of this very precise targeting that viruses possess to use the viral shell like an accurate carrier, like a vehicle, um, to uh, target precisely diseased organs. Mm. 
So the viruses used for viral-based vaccination are those that are capable to trigger potent immune response. That means that they can create an environment that can help the body to fight. Mm -hmm. So after in injection, this viral vaccine, which is not a bad vaccine, but it has become a good one because it has been engineered in labs. And this, this vaccine can be taken by the immune system of the, in the individual that received the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And because of uh, inflammation and all the components that have been replaced inside the shell, it can provide benefits to the vaccinee because mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the material inside can, uh, has been pre previously modified to provide a curative effect. According to you, what was the recent groundbreaking finding in this HIV field of research? Okay, so the world of viruses is absolutely fascinating because we have been their necessary host forever. So it means that our relationship with um, viruses are very intimate, if I can say so. Absolutely. Uh, to briefly talk about the history of the virus, the first case was in uh, 1981. Mm -hmm. And it was published, it, it came out in the US. Mm. And since, since then, the virus has killed uh, more than 32 million people. Three years later, uh, after the, dis the, the, the story of the discovery of the first case, mm -hmm. a French team from Pasteur Institute identified the infectious agent and received the Nobel Prize for that discovery the antiretroviral therapy started to be approved in the mid-80s, 90s. The antiretroviral therapy started to be approved in the mid-90s. And the list of dates, uh, besides multiple molecules that have been approved for their antiretroviral action, are, uh, is the PrEP, the pre-exposition prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. um, so the pre uh, the prep uh, contains a cocktail of antiretrovirals, mm -hmm. allowing a full prevention of HIV infections. And I'm as precise: if the, the the this medication is taken daily in a very strict uh, scheduled basis. However, no cure exists um, once the infection is there. Mm -hmm. And the main challenge, uh, as I mentioned before, is to empty the reservoir of HIV. So cells that have been infected and where the, the virus hide. And an important approach studied by researchers and clinicians uh, is vaccination. And vaccination have started more than, uh, than maybe 30 years ago now. Mm -hmm. and we still have no vaccines. How far are we to have an HIV vaccine? Uh, what's your opinion on the caveats or bottlenecks uh, at, this, at this moment? Um, designing vaccine for HIV is very challenging. And it has been challenging for the last 30 years because of CD40 lymphocytes, which are pillar cells to perform potent help uh, functionality during the process of an immune response and to build immune memory, which is the purpose of vaccination. Um, to make it clear, the first step of an immune response uh, is the captation of an immunogen by the antigen-presenting cells. The, then these antigen-presenting cells will uh, present HIV antigen mm -hmm. to helper cells, the CD4. Mm -hmm. And then again, the CD4 will activate B cells and T cells. And B cells are capable to secrete antibodies. Um, and uh, sorry, and the CD4 are also capable to activate cytotoxic T cells that are CD8 T cells. And so as they are cytotoxic, the cells can kill uh, infected cells with uh, accuracy because they recognize uh, that they are bearing HIV. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it.
sorry, B cells and T cells are immune cell uh, specific of a cognate antigen and can build memory towards many pathogen antigens. And this memory allows the immune system to reactivate quickly after re-encountering the same antigens to prevent uh, a new infection that could be deleterious. Um, but so, so yeah, so as I told you, we vaccination is to induce immune memory, but if the cells that are the pillar to induce this memory are not there anymore, it is very complicated to, to vaccinate, to induce long-term um, protection to the host. So, uh, who was your most inspiring scientific personality and could you please tell why? That there are many and that it, changing, it changes depending on my mood. But as my main interest for science rely on the comprehensions of this apparent homeostasis, I would, say, I would cite three. Mm -hmm. There is uh, Spinoza, Darwin and Damasio. Of, mm -hmm. course, I would, um, of course, you would tell me uh, that Spinoza is not a scientist but rather a philosopher. Mm -hmm. but, for, but for a guy born during the 17th century, he was a visionary on the relationship between mind, body and health. Uh, we could call him um, a protobiologist. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second person uh, that I like a lot uh, is Darwin. So um, he's, uh, in my opinion, really fascinating because he built a theory just by observing by studying and by, and being in the action in the of his uh, time, like by observing the economic system, by observing um, just what was just around him, and just with uh, his eyes and heart, he built a theory. Mm -hmm. And the theory of evolution and adaptation is very interesting and still at the basis, basis of many scientific hypotheses in a lot of domains, including immunology and cancer biology and plenty other. Finally, um, so one of our contemporary uh, scientists uh, is a, actually a neuroscientist, is Damasio. Mm -hmm. um, so he is still living and he wrote uh, many books on consciousness and self with uh, his biologist the neuro and, and neuroscientist way of thinking how uh, conscious may work and it is again very close to philosophy sometimes mm -hmm. and uh, also an interesting uh, thing about uh, his um, his uh, theory i would say is that he calls ethics our social um, he said that we, as human, we call ethics our social system of moral regulation. Mm -hmm. And to to uh, with his uh, biologist um, uh, background, he 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 says that it is social homeostasis. So he compare um, ethics, so the rules that we set up in our society, that is to regulate, like like the homeostasis that we have in our body, and we he call it uh, social homeostasis. And I like very much this concept. Be like doing science and to be at Pasteur Institute. Um, so being a researcher is is actually really exciting, and it has always been. But there is one fact that must be clear: is that Pasteur Institute and the Vaccine Research Institute, where I work, and I believe it's the same in in many places, it is competitive environment. It is difficult. And as an immunologist, I believe that Pasteur is truly a great opportunity in my scientific life career. And there is high-ranked scientists working there, and therefore it is an environment where the scientific uh, interaction can be very fruitful for me. Um, also, Pasteur policy is to welcome many foreign scientists to increase the rate of knowledge, and so the interaction is very rich. I feel very fulfilled. 